Reno Turakartney. Tanakwe. Tanakwe, Mr Chair. Thank you. Uh, uh, for allowing me to make a contribution. Sir, I just would like to uh, echo the remarks from uh, my colleagues on this side of the House. Uh, we do support this uh, legislation. This is a very welcome piece of legislation, uh, long in the um, uh, formative uh, stages, and we know that the Māori Party were very actively involved uh, in support uh, of uh, the ministerial inquiry, which actually led to the uh, introduction of this legislation. Uh, I recall my predecessor, uh, Rahui Katane, received a petition on the steps of Parliament signed by 12,000 members and presented, uh, organised by the Service and Food Workers Union back in 2011. She received that petition and presented it to Parliament, requesting, uh, um, petitioning Parliament that there be a ministerial uh, inquiry into the uh, unfair or uh, um, into the atrocious uh, practices of, on our foreign charter vessels. That led to the ministerial inquiry. Again, the, the Māori Party gave submissions to that ministerial inquiry. A and I would just like to read one part uh, from Rahui, um, Ms. Cartini's, Mrs. Cartini's um, submission. I consider it as fundamental that foreign charter vessels uphold the highest standards of human rights for their crew. And I also believe that iwi and Māori expect that crew members are treated consistently with their values of manaakitanga, kaitiakitanga and whanaungatanga. Sir, we, we definitely hope that uh, this is not just more rhetoric, but that the Māori Party does actually front up and join with all of us other parties in the House to grant the leave so that this bill can progress through its third reading uh, as we uh, uh, enter tomorrow into the last day of this 50th Parliament. We are hopeful that the Māori Party can um, see some sense and pay tribute to Rahui's, um, Mrs Kartini's work uh, with, uh, in calling for this ministerial inquiry, which led to the uh, introduction of this legislation, sir. Uh, otherwise, it is, it, it is shameful. It is shameful that all parties in this House are supportive of this legislation, which, let us not forget, we are wanting to eliminate the practices of treating workers like slaves on our foreign charter vessels. Uh, there are atrocious stories and cases which came through the ministerial inquiry. Uh, we, we can just mention names like the Ouyang 70 um, and terrible uh, fatalities, uh, poor treatment, uh, non-payment uh, and uh, lack of safety provided to the workers, foreign workers that were working uh, in some horrendous conditions there. So uh, I'm, I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful that the Māori Party can come and support, join with the rest of the parties in this House allow us to let this bill progress to its third reading tomorrow so we can complete it and pass it into law. We know that there are Māori are significant stakeholders in the fishing industry. I, for one, was intimately involved in the uh, uh, Māori fisheries industry. Māoris are the resource owners primarily um, at an iwi level, and of course, their main, uh, for so, certain iwi, their main revenue stream is through the sale of their deep water ace. Uh, and a lot of that ace has been sold to foreign charter vessel operators in the past, and they have been able to pay a premium for their annual catch entitlements to the iwis because they actually have appalling uh, treatment for their actual workers and their operations. And so that's, reason, so that's the trade-off. If iwi want the um, uh, good returns for the sale of their uh, annual catch entitlements, uh, what is the, at what cost? And what we've seen, sir, is that that has been at the cost of foreign workers that have been exploited uh, for years, uh, fishing, many of it uh, Māori uh, uh, ace, uh, and, uh, and we just cannot let that continue. Our international reputation is at stake. And the Māori Party were very, made it very clear how important our international reputation was at the ministerial inquiry. Well, if the, our international reputation is so important to the Māori Party, if the fair treatment of um, workers, foreign workers, is, uh, 
is so important to the Māori Party. If the creation, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, I call um, Reno Chirikatni. If the um, if the opportunities for jobs for Māori to get into the business and activity of fishing, as promised through the treaty settlements, uh, is so important to the Māori Party, then they should. Fr um, I would encourage them, please, implore them, come to the House and join with all of the parties here tonight to ensure that leave is granted so we can ensure the passage of this, uh, this important bill uh, through into the final day of this 50th Parliament. So uh, that's my, just my last uh, plea, and uh, let's hope that uh, we can achieve that uh, so we can ensure that this bill is passed. Thank you. Members, we come to the vote. First, we have the Minister's typescript amendment as set out on SOP number 429. The question is that the amendment be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. We now move to the Minister's amendments set out on SOP 429 as amended. The question is that the, amend the uh, amendments uh, uh, be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. We move to Stephen Browning's amendments as set out on SOP number 433. The question is that the amendments be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. The noes have it. A party vote is called for. I'll ask the clerk for a party vote. <coughs> New Zealand National. 59 votes opposed. New Zealand Labor. 34 votes opposed. Green Party. 14 in favour. New Zealand First. 7 opposed. Māori Party. 2 votes opposed. Mana. Mana, 1 in favour. United Future. 1 vote opposed. Brendan Horan. Any other votes? Members, the ayes are 15, the noes are 103, the amendments are not agreed to. The question now is that parts 1 and 2 and clauses 1 to 3 as amended stand part. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. A party vote is called for. I'll ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labor. 34 votes in favour. Green Party. 14 votes in favour. New Zealand First. 7 in favour. Māori Party. 2 votes opposed. Mana. Mana, 1 in favour. United Future. 1 vote in favour. Brendan Horan. Any other votes? Members, the ayes are 116, the noes are two parts, one and two clauses, one to three, as amended, will stand part. I'll report this bill with amendment.
Yeah, let's do another job. <laughs> The House is resumed. Mr. Mr Speaker, Mr. Chairman. the Committee has considered the Fisheries, Foreign Charter of Vessels and Other Matters Amendment Bill and reports it with amendment. Mr Speaker, I move that the report be adopted. The question is that the report be adopted. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. The bill is set down for third reading next sitting day. Point of order. Tim McIndoe. Mr Speaker, the House has made excellent progress tonight and on that basis I seek leave for the House to rise early. Is there any objection to that course of action? There appears to be none. The House is, the house is suspended and I will resume the chair at 9am tomorrow morning for the extended sitting.